Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Hallelujah. I am the first and the last, says the Lord, and the living one. I was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Good morning. Thank you for joining us today. find the service on page 201 of the Book of Common Prayer. Almighty God, to whom, whom all, all hearts, hearts are open, all desires known, known and, and from, from whom, whom no secrets, secrets are hidden, cleanse, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through, through Christ, Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. Hear what our Lord Jesus Christ says. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment and the second is like it. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. Lord, have mercy on us and write these your laws in our hearts. God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to intercede for us in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us then confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace. Almighty God, our, our Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, we, we have, have sinned, sinned in thought and word and deed, and, and in, in what, what we have, have left undone, undone. We, we are truly, truly sorry, and, and we humbly repent. repent. For, the For the sake, sake of, of your Son, Son Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may walk in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. Glory to God in the highest. And peace, peace to, to God's, God's people on earth. earth. Lord, Lord God, God, heavenly King, King almighty, almighty God, God and, and Father, Father, we worship you, we give, give you thanks. thanks. We, we praise you for your, for your glory. glory. Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Father Lord, Lord God, Lamb, Lamb of God, God you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. God, our Redeemer, you have delivered us from the powers of darkness, and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. Grant that, as by his death, he has recalled us to life, so by his continual presence in us, he may raise us to eternal joy. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The first reading is taken from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 45, beginning at verse 11. Thus says the Lord, the Holy One of Israel and its maker, Will you question me about my children, or command me concerning the work of my hands? I made the earth and created humankind upon it. It was my hands that stretched out the heavens, and I commanded all their host. I have aroused Cyrus in righteousness, and I will make all his paths straight. He shall build my city and set my exiles free, not for price or reward, says the Lord of hosts. For thus says the Lord who created the heavens, he is God. He formed the earth and made it. He established it. He did not create it in a chaos. He formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord and there is no other. I did not speak in secret in the land of darkness. I did not say to the offspring of Jacob, seek me in chaos. I, the Lord, speak the truth. I declare what is right. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Our point for today is Psalm number 98. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvellous things. His own right hand and his holy arm have won for him the victory. The Lord has made known his salvation. His deliverance has he openly shown in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his mercy and faithfulness towards the house of Israel, and all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sound praises to the Lord, all the earth. Break into singing and make music. Make music to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the voice of melody. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, sound praises before the Lord, the King. Let the sea thunder and all that fills it, and the, the world and all that dwell upon it. Let the rivers clap their hands, and let the hills ring out together before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. In righteousness shall he judge the world, and the people with equity. The epistle is written in the first epistle of John, in the fifth chapter, beginning at the first verse. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God, and everyone who loves the parent loves the child. By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we obey his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome, for whatever is born of God conquers the world. And this is the victory that conquers the world, our faith. Who is it that conquers the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ, not with water only, but with the water and the blood. And the Spirit is the one that testifies, for the Spirit is the truth. This is a word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Hear the gospel of our Saviour Christ, according to St. John, in the 15th chapter, beginning at the 9th verse. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. I have said these things to you, so that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from the Father. You did not choose me, but I choose, chose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last so the Father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I'm giving you these commandments so that you may love one another. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Loving God, your Son has chosen us and called us to be his friends. Give us grace to keep his commandments to love one another and to bear fruit which will abide through him who is the true vine, the source of all our life, Jesus Christ our Lord. Grant, Lord, that the words I speak may be not my words but thine, that the words your people hear may be not my words but thine, and so fill us with the living word that we may learn to pray with him not my will be done, but thine. Amen. Some words from this morning's Gospel reading. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Years ago, on Rogation Sunday, a rural clergyman deeply offended his rural congregation by refusing to pray for rain. And his reasoning went something like this. If you need rain for your potatoes, and I need sun for my sunflowers, whose prayer will God answer? Surely, he argued, we ought to trust in God's providence, not pester him with selfish demands. Today is Rogation Sunday, Asking Sunday when traditionally farmers asked for blessing on their crops. And this morning's readings reflect both the spiritual and the natural aspect of this asking. Let's look at the natural aspect. The basis of modern science can be seen in the book of Genesis. Out of chaos and darkness, God created order and light. And Isaiah reiterates this passage, this message. God did not create the earth a chaos. He formed it to be inhabited. God created laws in nature, order in nature. We can depend on the sun's rising. We can depend on the new life in spring. We can predict the next appearance of Halley's Comet or the next full moon because God did not create a chaos. Without these observable laws, science could not function. When we pray for God's continued providence, we're not therefore trying to persuade a capricious creator to extend his bounty. Rather, we're reminding ourselves that outside of God's providence, we are nothing and we have nothing. So you and I are here 
with a purpose. Suitably for Rogation Sunday, the metaphor of our being here is nature. We're here to bear fruit, the fruit of love. And that's so much easier to say than to do. How do you love someone whose behavior is obnoxious? How do you love someone who has harmed your child? Can you have warm and tender feelings towards that person? But it is possible to dislike someone, to fear someone, and to treat them with love. First, by doing them no harm. Revenge and getting your own back, neither of these is ever an option for the Christian. And then, as an act of love, if we can pray for the person who has so harmed us, we are putting our dependence not on our own feelings, but on God's providence. Fruit doesn't grow overnight, but the fruit of the loving action of prayer for the difficult person won't be instantaneous, but it will grow. It sounds counterintuitive. It sounds madness. But what is the alternative? The corrosion of anger, bitterness, hatred, so damaging mostly to the angry and bitter person. Evil can never drive out evil. Evil perpetuates itself down the generations until the cause is lost and only the essence of evil remains. Only love can drive out evil. That's the fruit that we pray for this Rogation Sunday, knowing it is the fruit that God will bless absolutely and abundantly. And so, may we live by faith, walk in hope, and be renewed in love until the world reflects your glory and you are all in all. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Amen. in one God, the, the Father, Father, the Almighty, Almighty maker, maker of, of heaven, heaven and earth, earth of, of all that is, seen and, and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only, the only Son of God, God eternally, eternally begotten, begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, from light true God from true God, begotten, God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father. Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the Scriptures, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, we look, we look for, for the, the resurrection, resurrection of, of the dead, dead and the life of the world to come. Amen.
For obedience to the law of love, let us pray to the Lord. Give to the Church, chosen and called to service, the love for all which reveals the love of God. As she has received grace, may she be a channel of his peace now and for all time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Grant to those who hold authority the love which is stronger than the love of power. May they know that real authority is from above and is fulfilled, not in command, but in service. Grant that love shall drive out hatred between nations and races, and the whole world be at peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As Christ has called us to be his friends, increase in us the gift of friendship towards all who come close to us in our daily lives. By our love for one another, may we show that we have heard and answered his call to follow him. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Have mercy on those who have never known love or whose love has been corroded by anger and bitterness. Show them the love of God. Restore them in the love of humanity. We pray for all who are ill in mind, body or spirit. Lay your healing hand upon them. Help them feel your presence near them. Grant them light and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the outcasts of the world, those who have been cut off from their families, those who have been rejected by society and have lost hope of return. Restore them to the full dignity of their humanity and let them grow into new life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give thanks for the memory and example of all who have died in faith, whose love sustained our lives and fulfilled your command to love one another. We pray that we may share with them the joys of your eternal kingdom. Merciful Father, accept these our prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. We do not presume to come to this your table, merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under your table, but you are the same Lord, whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. Jesus said, A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another even as I have loved you, that you also love one another. The peace of the Lord be always with you, and also with you. How can I repay the Lord for all the benefits he has given to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us celebrate the feast. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God, it is right to give our thanks and praise. All glory and honour, thanks and praise be given to you at all times and in all places. Lord, Holy Father, true and living God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. For he is your eternal word, through whom you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying,
Merciful Father, we thank you for these gifts of your creation, this bread and this wine. And we pray that we who eat and drink them in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, in obedience to our Saviour Christ, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his body and blood. Who on the night that he was betrayed took bread, and when he had given you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper he took the cup, and again giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Father, with this bread and this cup, we do as our Saviour has commanded. We celebrate the redemption he has won for us. We proclaim his perfect sacrifice made once and for all upon the cross his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. And we look for his coming to fulfill all things according to your will. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Renew us by your Holy Spirit. Unite us in the body of your Son and bring us with all your people into the joy of your eternal kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, with whom and in whom, by the power of the Holy Spirit, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of never-ending praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power are yours for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The bread which we break is a sharing in the body of Christ. We being many are one body, for we all share in the one bread. Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God who has taken away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, redeemer of the world, grant us peace. Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, you met us in your Son and brought us home. Dying and living, he declared your love, gave us grace and opened the gate of glory. <coughs> May we who share Christ's body, live his risen life. We who drink his cup, bring life to others. We whom the Spirit lights, give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope which you have set before us, so we and all your children shall be free, and the whole earth live to praise your name. 
through Jesus Christ our Lord. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the spiritual food of the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and the love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ, amen.